to our channel, Three Scrappy Sisters. It's Amelda here, and I have a Lay It Out Thursday video for you. This is a 12 by 12 layout that I have created using the Felicity Jean Summer Kit. And I just quickly showed you there that I am also using the Stuck Sketches July 1st sketch. And I have decided that I wanted to flip it around onto its side and use it that way. I tried to use it the the right side up way and the pictures that I'm using didn't fit and I'll explain to you a little bit later why I'll show you in the video um, so I I decided to turn it around so the pictures that I'm using are photos that I took of myself and my kids when we had gone out for well they had taken me out for dinner at a restaurant called Moxie's here in Canada and um, this is the first time that we had taken the kids to Moxie's and they loved it. So there are just a couple of selfies of my daughter and I and my son and I. So I am just going to document that moment there. Uh, so I'm just going through the, uh, the die cut pack that came in the kit and I just want to try and figure out which pieces I want to use. I really liked the flower paper that came in the kit and as soon as I saw it I thought I wanted to fussy cut the flowers and, and use those as embellishments but going through the die cut kit I, I realized I didn't have to do that because they there already are a bunch of flowers. So originally I thought that I was going to maybe use the, um, the striped side of this paper but I really like the blue side and the fact that there is some some white on what is the bottom right now um, I thought worked really well with the sketch the fact that there is a little a one side that's weighted more than the other so now I'm just trying to figure out which paper I'm going to use as my matting piece and I am contemplating on those three the black and white paper and the pink um, and the other the solid pink so I decided I'm going to use this starburst um, or sunburst whatever you want to call it so I'm just going to gut the center of this and I am going to measure my photos to make sure that the photo mat is the right size so I do end up thinking this whole time that I'm going to use the pink side and then once I get it all cut and adhered to my photos, do I adhere it? No, just before I adhere it, um, I realize that I actually don't want the pink side. I'm going to end up using the black and white side on the other side. So I am going to go with that. So I am just also taking the branding strip that came off that page and I am going to play around with that. So here's where I decide that I'm going to turn it around. I try to place my photos side by side and because I am on in each one of the photos and I was sitting beside both of my kids so I was in the middle, the way that the photos came out I ended up being on opposite side of each photo. So when I line them up horizontally. Um, I end up being in the middle of both of them and I didn't really like that it kind of looks like there's a mirror and I'm reflected on both sides so I didn't I wanted to avoid that so standing it up vertically worked a little bit better so I'm just adding a little piece of washi tape here and then the branding strip and this all of these elements that I'm using came in the Felicity Jane summer kit so and it's just the main kit I didn't buy anything extra so you can easily replicate this if you'd like to. So I'm just using the alphas that came in the kit and these are the puffy alphas. They're really cute font, um, all caps, and they're basically just like a puffy sticker. So I'm going to use Happy Mother's Day as my title because this was this Mother's Day. And I'm just going to speed this up really quick just as I am getting all the letters together. And I am just placing it on an extra sheet of acetate or the plastic that the alpha stickers come on just so that I can be sure that I am happy with my placement and make sure that it all fits. I find a lot of times I do end up 
well, before, before I did this, I ended up sticking down a title and then having to pull things up. And it's really annoying, especially when you get alpha stickers that stick really well. So I found that this was a pretty good way of doing it. I tried doing it on like a ruler and then it just it didn't work. I found this is the, the easiest way. So I am just making sure that my photos are matted and I'm pretty much this is the way that the layout's going to end up other than some playing around with some of the die cuts. So I'm just going to use my T-square ruler to measure up um, the title and I'm going to adhere that. I just want to make sure that it's straight. I'm not really the best at eyeballing things that are supposed to be straight. Um, and getting it pretty straight on. I usually end up, especially writing, I end up going off, almost trailing off. Um, if I'm writing on the blackboard or the whiteboard at school, I just always, it always starts up off nicely and then it kind of goes up a little bit and gets smaller. So I wanted to make sure that I used my ruler here. So I'm going to bring my photos back and then I'm going to Oh, I'm going to pop them up on some foam because I do want some dimension. And then I am going to start playing around with the die cut pieces to make sure that they go where I want them to go. I've pulled out all of the flowers as well as a couple of the labels. And I think it's the pink and the teal color, which again is what I'm usually drawn to. So I am going to just adhere the photos, make sure that they are straight, and then I'm going to go in with the embellishments. So I am going to end up cutting some of these flowers just so that it's kind of peeking through a little bit. Um, the yellow one especially was really big and I didn't really want it over the photo I wanted it behind the photo so I ended up cutting it only because I've already adhered the foam and the photo down. Um, so this flower that I'm holding right now I'm having a little bit of trouble because I didn't really like the um, I don't know what it's called the not the stem the the little leaves that are basically under the the bud um, so I was trying, just playing around with it to see if I could hide it some way or turn it around or figure out a different way to use it. But I ended up just placing it there. Some of it is still showing through, um, but I covered the part that I didn't like with, with that label. So I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to add a little bit of foam on the bottom part of it just to help support it because it is um, leading over the edge of the photo. And then I'm going to add the label. And then I'm going to work at the top. And like I said before, I'm just going to end up cutting this flower a little bit, which ends up being a good decision because then I have a little piece that I can add to the bottom. So just to bring some of that yellow in to the bottom as well. So, yep. So I'm going to adhere it. And then I have a couple of the little flowers that I'm going to play around with, but I end up putting it in the middle between both of the, the photos. So this one goes here at the top and then I have a couple other little ones that go in the middle there. So I like the way that that is looking, so I'm going to adhere that down. And that's about it. I'm just going to add the little mint tag as well as a little piece yeah, that little piece of the flower. And then um, I am going to stamp on that pink label. Um, it says hashtag all the food. Uh, because again, it was dinner time and the food was awesome. The kids really liked the dessert. They came out with um, some of the dry ice and they were really wowed by it. So it was, it was really fun. I should have taken a picture of that, but I didn't. It was, it was a little dark. So this is about it. I'm just going to add some Heidi Swap Color Shine in Peach, and there I'm showing you that I've stamped it. So here comes the Heidi Shine, and I'm adding it in Peach, just a couple of ink splatters. 
and then I'm going to go in with some enamel dots. I'm going to add some white enamel dots as well as some mint and that's basically the entire layout. So I want to say thank you so much for joining me today and I hope to see you again next week. Um, thank you so much to all of our new subscribers and the thumbs up and the comments and we'll see you again next time. Bye! Thank you.